So can we improve outcomes? Can we make this a better treatment? And one is need for better devices, and, and the second is need for uh, better patient selection or um, I don't sure better is the right term, but more uh, more um, um, accurate patient selection. Let's put it this way. I'm not going to go into too much detail about this because we may have another another discussion. But to date, we all know that there is no stent designed, approved stent designed specifically for venous sinuses. Um, and we all use off-label carotid stents or venous stents, uh, you know, uh, but certainly off-label use. The majority of stents are, that we use are precise pro, wall stent, or, or silver stent. Um, and they have certain shortcomings. They're stiff, difficult to deliver. They often require intermediate catheters. Uh, they need a lot of support to be advanced. They often overstretch the venous sinuses, which, which can cause um, tear or dissection of the sinuses, can cause, uh, can affect the cortical venous flow draining into the, into the venous sinuses. Uh, they are generally short, so we need to use more than one stent. Um, they can, they are stiff, so they often irritate the um, uh, the venous sinus uh, from at the edge uh, of the stent, uh, and they are unnecessarily strong in terms of opening the, the, the narrow vein. They have what is called very high radial force, uh, which can lead to uh, dural stretching and, and pain after the procedure for, for the patients. Um, there are patients who develop trigeminal neuralgia after after stenting um, because their stents were like oversized and and uh overstretched the venous sinus and caused you know they resolved the IAH but then they caused uh constant uh, uh irritation to the trigeminal nerve so these stents we use them they work well to some extent but they are not ideal um obviously we all know river stent has been studied um the 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 clinical trial is is closed and the results are being reviewed uh it's a is the first stand specifically designed for venous sinuses self-expandable stand with large open cell um uh, type that adapts to the shape of the venous sinuses um decreases the risk of deformity uh, of the cortical veins and the and compromised flow and has like a smart design in terms of being softer um, in the in the uh, proximal and distal ends, but stiffer in the uh, area of stenosis. And I'm not going to mention the results or anything because uh, I think the the stent is being uh, uh, the results are being reviewed these days. But this is what this stent looks like: it's tapered. Uh, it has a larger end. For the sigmoid sinus and the and the smaller diameter for the transverse sinus and uh, its uh, large open cells and importantly long enough to cover the entire transverse and sigmoid venous sinuses uh, and it's easy to deliver uh, through a small catheter and over like a 14 wire. So it's a big advancement compared to what we use today and hopefully we'll be talking more about this uh, soon.